I really wanted to contribute something to the Septendi, what is going on actually in the moment. And uh, I don't have anything. Now I'm sad. Now here in Germany it's pretty uncommon to have Attendee stuff because it's not sold here and you can't get anything. But I saw a lot of uh, videos about those small Tendi pocket calculators. The PC1210 and the PC1211. Those were rebranded Sharp models uh, to the Tendi brand. And I wanted to show you this. This is the only thing I have closely related to Tendi. Uh, this is my, my personal Sharp PC1403H. I got it some <coughs> somewhere around 1995 and you see this box, it looks very damaged. This is because I took it to school every day in this box. I didn't want to get it uh, dirty or broken so I let it in this box and the box got dirty and broken. But the calculator, not. This is very nice. This is a PC 1403H. H means this is the extended model of the 1403, which has 32 kilobytes of uh, RAM. The 1403 without H just has 6 kilobytes of RAM. And this is a pretty nice model. You see in this box, there is the manual of the Sharp Taschencomputer Model PC 1403 Bedienungsanleitung. Yes, it's German. This computer came first uh, in 1986. Let's read something out of this book. Lieber Leser, wir haben uns bemüht, dieses Handbuch ohne Fehler zu erstellen. Doch auch bei der sorgfältigsten Prüfung kann noch etwas übersehen werden. Wenn Sie daher Fehler finden und oder den einen oder anderen Verbesser Verbesserungsvorschlag zu diesem Handbuch haben, so teilen Sie uns diese bitte mit. Vielen Dank im Voraus. Sharp Electronics, Hamburg. So this text says basically if you find mistakes in this book or do you know how to make it better, then contact us. Sharp Electronics Hamburg. This is very nice. In this book you will find a lot of programs and basic uh, examples how to program this uh, very nice calculator. And this add-on sheet just tells you the, the PC1403 is basically exactly the same like the 1403H, it just has more RAM. And one program you have to enter the RAM amount and you have to enter the bigger number. Now let's have a look at this funny calculator. Ah, ah, memories. Every time I got bored in school, which was basically every day, I took it out and started programming. I took my little book, which looked like a school book, and I I taught myself programming. Oh, there's even the dust from. Oh, oh doesn't work anymore. CR2032, two times. This is good. Let's, let's have a look inside so we can change the batteries. I think I have those batteries. Yes, yes, I have the batteries. Oh, there's a door. You have to. It looks like you have to push it. Do you have to push it? I think you have to push it. Ah, yes, push it. Yes. Oh, nice. CR 2032. This is good. I have CR 2032s. Let's change the batteries. Oh, these are... <laughs> these are the original sharp batteries. Ah, there's this nice diagram inside, which tells you how to insert the batteries. This is nice. Oh, that was painless. Does it work? <laughs> nice, it works. Can we get this dent a little bit? Yes, it looks way better. Now the dent is gone. There's another dent. Ah, way better. Nice. Nice. Oh. And it works again. Ah, the contrast. Can I turn the contrast here? 
Yes, I've turned it all the way up. Of course, the battery's gone a little bit bad over the years. And the last time I've used it, I had to put the contrast all the way up. Nice, it works again. The display is, has gotten a little bit shorter than on the 1210 and they put more emphasis on the calculator part by putting all these calculator functions on top. Oh, this is very nice and it works. Oh, let's see if we can program something into this. I want to run a basic program so I push the basic button, go into the programming mode by pressing it again. I'm in programming mode. I write 10, this is the first line, the space. What should my program do? First it should say hello YouTube. I say print because he should print something on the screen. He should print a string which is uh, letters and words. Let's say hello. Hello. YouTube <coughs> and again Anführungsstriche Enter. This was our first line. Now we go 20, the next line. What should he do then? He should beep two times. Okay. And the next line he should start over again. I'll say go to uh, 10. We start the program over. Enter. Now we can see our program work, if it works. If you push here again, we go to the run mode. Now we can write run. Or we can push shift and this. And he writes run for us. We push enter. He says hello YouTube. Beeps two times and goes back to the first row which says hello YouTube. Hello YouTube. I've modified the program a little bit and now we can go to the basic run mode. Type run. Not run. Run. Bye YouTube. Bye YouTube.